let me show you how to find a known number of terms using a graphic calculator. In this example, let's look at how to find the first 10 terms of an arithmetic progression, given that the first term is 3 and the common difference is 5. All right. Okay, so remember when we have an AP, which is an arithmetic progression, to find the rth term, it will be called be equals to a plus r minus 1d, where r is the r, the term number, a is the first term, and d is the common difference. So based on this example, the r term, ur, will be equals to a, which is the first term, and is 3, okay, plus r minus 1 times the common difference, which is 5. So if I were to simplify it, I have 3 plus 5r minus 5, so it's equals to 5r minus 2. So next, I want to find sum of first 10 terms. Okay, to find the sum of the first 10 terms, of course, we can make use of the uh, formulas in the AP chapter. So sum of first n terms will be equal to n over 2, 2a plus uh, n minus 1 times d, right? So you can sub it in, so you can have um, this, which is, so I have first 10 terms, so it's 10 over 2 times 2 times 3, okay, plus 10 minus 1 times d, which is 5, okay? Sub it into the calculator, you'll get 255, okay? Or you can use the GC. So if you want to use the GC, instead of writing this, Okay, you can write by GC, okay, sum of first 10 terms is equals to summation of R equals to 1. So that means I'm starting for the first term and I write 10 here because I'm ending on the 10th term. And uh, here, this bracket, what I'll write inside will be the... Uh, an expression for the term which is 5r minus 2. So type it into the GC, you will also get 255. Next, let me show you how do you type this into your graphic calculator to calculate the sum of the first 10 terms. All right, so let's look at how to type it into the graphic calculator. So if you're looking at summation, right, it's under the math function. So click on math in your graphic calculator. Okay, if you're to scroll down, okay. Okay, scroll down. Okay, and you see summation, which is at zero. So click zero. Okay, and you will get to this, which is the summation. So in this question, right, we are going to start from uh, the first term and we are going to sum it up to the 10th term, right? So x, so we start off with x equals to 1, so the first term. Okay, then on top it will be the term which I end at, which is the 10th term. Okay, then next I need to type the term equation. So this is where you type the equation of the term and we know that for this question, the term equation is 5r or 5x minus 2, right? Okay, so now that we have typed the term and we know that we want to sum from the first term to the tenth term, just press enter and you'll get the sum of the first 10 terms of this AP is equal to 255. So take note, in order to make use of this method, right, this number here which term you start at it must be a number the term which you end at must also be a number and you must have the equation of the term so you must be able to express the term in uh, something that has so you must be able to express the term okay in terms of x all right